Hey, travelers. I know I said uh, last time that we would probably be outside, but as it turns out, today's hot. It's like in the 80s plus. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it's it's probably good compared to the West Coast. Yeah. Oh, that's how West Coast. 100. Oh. 100 and some. Yeah. My wife's in Montana right now, and she just sent yeah. me a text that it was 99 degrees there. They can have it. We don't need it. Who goes to Glacier to get 99 degree weather? Your wife, apparently. That sounds ridiculous. Yeah. I don't want any part in it. Uh, so, I mean, it's the we're going to continue on this, the summer beers because it is summer. I mean, Troy's got his Hawaiian shirt on. I'm festive. He's very festive for it. But often in the summer, you kind of want to shed some pounds, too, because it's a, it's, a, it's a way to, you know, get rid of some of that or, winter fat or to keep it off or, you know, never put extra on. Or... Yeah, uh, you know, I, 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 the the giveaway here is we're doing low cal beers, but the idea of the low cal beers is you can drink a lot more of them. Then you can drink more. Yeah, yeah, they're not light beers; they're just low cal beers. They're even lower than light. I mean, there's something to say that like we as an industry, I think, have gone. We have gone. We have closed some loops here. You know, we have. Uh, and we, no, it's not Miller sixty four. Yeah, I mean, we're, nobody's we're, drinking We're gonna that do like real craft beer. So yeah. craft brewers are starting to make lighter beers, which I think is interesting. Especially, you know, craft beers now is what we're in 30, 40 years in. You know, you could argue like maybe fifteen years into the hard stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah. people are kind of noticing a few extra pounds. So a lot of breweries are trying to make what they call low cal beers. So it's always good to have one. Yeah. I was always told back in the day that oh Guinness that's only like one hundred and twenty calories, which awesome but i also don't want to drink guinness all day every day That's no it'd be no <laughs> i i i i like I, you know i enjoy oh, one yeah, yeah. i like i like Patrick's a good day yeah, you, guinness. You bet. You instead bet. of a green beer just have an irish beer yeah 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 crazy it's, idea yeah so you know more about these than i do um, don't know much so the we'll we'll go with the first one i i chose this one because it's a, a it's a functional white ale <laughs> yes whatever the hell that means a function uh, Light Point from New Holland. New Holland is out of yes. New Holland, Michigan. How about that? Yeah. 86 calories. This kind of offsets the dragon milk that they make, because I'm sure that yeah. is not. That is not 86 calories. That would calories. not be 86 no. calories, folks. That is all of the calories, I think. I mean. Uh, I, I guess the first thing when I, while I was pouring it, it, it does look very much like a light beer. Uh, the color, the body is... Well, lacking, I guess. Two point three carbs, three point seven percent alcohol by volume. Ooh. White ale brewed with co- coconut water, mm. raw honey, orange peel, and natural flavors. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Natural flavors, that's whatever those hard. natural flavors are. That's hard to read. Yeah. It's a little. I gotta get like my reading glasses on. Well, uh, I'll give you. A, the Is, nose really doesn't have a lot. There's I get a, a slight fruity flavor. Yeah, you kind of get a little bit of those like, uh, uh, like Belgian wit esters. Yeah, but that like orange a, peel. Yeah, and a little, a bit, little of, bit, but not much. Yeah, not much. Just a. It's not bad. It's a functional white ale. That is a functional white ale, <laughs> whatever that means. I'm not gonna lie to you. For 86 calories, this is pretty solid. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could drink a few of those. Yeah, and if you were feel all right about it. Yeah, be absolutely. A, that'd be a great golfing beer. You know, you know, more and more, I, I'm not finding too many uh, craft beers at the golf course though in cans to take out on yeah. the course with me. So yeah, they start getting like the 19 twos, the big boys. They have yeah. to see the cart girl less that way. Yeah, she comes around more if you tip more. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah, I'm not a very good tipper. Yeah. I'm I've, not a good golfer. I, I come in streak. You know, I, I go in streaks. It's it's like bowling for me. You know, some days are really good and other days are really really bad. I'm not a good bowler either. Yeah, <sighs> what good are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm good at drinking. You're good at drinking beer. Well, good job. <laughs> at least you're good at something. At least I found something I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there's definitely. It's almost like a light wit beer, which is what I think they're going for. Definitely still get a little bit of the nutmeg, a little bit of orange peel. A but not. Bit. I mean, yeah. It would it would be like a Belgian light beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like almost like a Belgian table beer. Mm. Yes. So get it's a little dry. Starts mm-hmm. off a smidge and sweet, ends a little dry. All in all, I'd say that's for eighty six calories. That's pretty solid. Hell yeah! I might actually end up buying some. Of I would drink more of that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sometimes I think when people go <clears throat> too big in the Belgian-y, like, wits, that all... Because, like, wit, to me, should be refreshing. And if you get so much of that coriander and white pepper flavor, it ceases to be refreshing. Right. It just kind of becomes more stringent. So, I would say by keeping this one light, it almost makes it more drinkable. Yeah. 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 So. Fun fact. Yeah. The next one... Uh... I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the can. It's called High Low. Yeah. Or, if you're like me, you call it J-Lo. 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 So, uh, uh, the yeah, name... Cigar City. The name is a playoff of the High Lie, which is the game where you throw the, the crazy thing. Oh, in, that's what they're doing on the Which is also picture. another sport I'm bad at. Yeah. I yeah. can honestly say I've never played it. Yeah, no, nor have I. I'm just assuming I'm bad. I might sure. be the world's greatest High Lie player. Never knew about it. Uh, so, this is a IPA... Four uh, percent alcohol, one hundred and twenty calories. One hundred and twenty calories. So we're going up a bit. Going up. Yep. We're in uh, we're in Guinness's neck of the woods now, as far as calories go. So you'll notice more of a body, a little bit darker color. Um. Yeah, it looks just like a solid IPA, color wise. And on the nose, it smells like a wow IPA. It smells definitely like an smells IPA. Smells like an IPA. Almost like tastes like an IPA, but not the the first. I guess the first taste that you get, uh, it seems like it's a full bodied IPA, but then it when it finishes, it, it doesn't finish like a a regular IPA would. It kind of finishes hollow. Yeah, it almost has like a dry finish. Yeah, yeah, because High Lie to me, the 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 bigger brother sister of this beer, has a very sweet finish. Yeah. This one, I would say, is almost the opposite of that. It's, like, more dry on So when you slap the calories out of a beer, you, you get a dry yeah. finish. Imagine that. Yeah. You, you, you you ferment those sugars out of a beer. Yep. And uh, you end up getting less calories. Who How knew? about that? I Who, knew? Ma- Who I always, knew? I keep making the joke that I like my sugar fermented. Yeah. And it's because I'm, you yeah, know, just watching the gun. You're just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom makes me a cake for, Christmas, uh, for my birthday. Can you ferment that, please? Did you just go ahead and... Ferment Blend that. that up. Get it over me. there. <laughs> From, I'll, I'll be back in two to four weeks for it. <laughs> well, we'll uh, we'll see how long it takes that sucker to dry up. <laughs> yeah. See if your mom finds that funny. She would just be very confused at yeah. not understanding a single thing I'm saying. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Which is what she says to me all. Your time. mom is a delight, though. Yeah. Yeah. I would say all in all, it's just kind of like a pleasant little IPA. You get a little fruit. You get a little little like. I would say almost like grapefruity tropical fruit, just and, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and there are there are some lower calorie IPAs out there. There's, I, I think we've seen more IPA low cal than any other style. Oh yeah, I mean I brought a pile of them for us to pick from. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, there's there was more there. I could have grabbed right, more. You right. Know? So, like I said, it's it's definitely coming. I just find it funny that you know craft brewers tried so hard to get away from the word light, and now they're like meh. Well, now it's low cal or uh, <laughs> functional white ale or uh, you know I I don't I don't ever see a light I you think, know other other than um, I think Bell's too harder to literally calls us <clears throat> their it's light hearted yeah which is funny because like light hearted it's a phrase but they're also using the word light which I think the only light light beer that I've seen from a craft brewer that's around here is um, Pearl Street and they make a beer called. Uh, Shitty light beer. <laughs> I, and I, I, st- I still don't know how they've gotten away with that label. And I sincerely forgot about that until right this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, do a review of it one we'll of these Of the shitty uh, light beer. We have not, we've not had it. No, but we have not. No. Yeah. Uh, and it was not around when we did our episode. You should go watch the Pearl Street episode. Yeah, though. go watch the Pearl Street episode. There you Downtown go. Downtown Brown, man. Yeah. I that's still, like still that around. That's, I still like the DTB. Yeah, it's a yep. good one. Yeah. I also just like brown ales, which I know is not a cool thing to say. Maybe one of these days it'll be cool again. Uh, yeah. I hope it isn't. Because then, <laughs> then there won't be any. Yeah. Everybody will be drinking. Well, then it. I won't be then the weird guy just like, yeah. oh, Troy's got a brown over here. Yeah. Well, you can. I, I would say that you could drink the IPA, but I don't know that IPA will ever go out of style. No, it keeps reinventing itself. It just. It's like Bob Dylan. Music reference, right? Yeah. That's a music reference. Can you believe that? Oh. My gosh, I can't even believe you know who he is. <laughs> I've listened to like four of his songs. Yeah. <laughs> They're in the movie The Watchmen. 
before I start pouring this one, so this is this one's actually a local Wisconsin beer. Uh, this is from MKE. It's called the Local Haze. Uh, Local, another hazy IPA. Uh, this one's only 105 calories. So ooh, MKE. Four Come and a half, to- four and a half grams of carbs, and there again, low in alcohol, four point four percent. Four and a half carbs. Back in the day, you still couldn't have sold that in the gas station in Minnesota, though. I mean, it would have had to been I, under. I like that light craft beers are like, oh, that's four point five. Yeah, I'm like, that's a big Budweiser. <laughs> that's that's a big Budweiser there. Ooh, <laughs> a light craft beer, big big any other like domestic right. beer. <laughs> oh, this is the diesel. This is five percent. Ooh, guys. my. Ooh. <laughs> Only give me two of those. I I had a, I had the haha moment. I was in England. And guys are just pounding pub ales all day and then you realize they're like oh that's only like three percent alcohol yeah ah, no shit you can drink it all day <laughs> <laughs> you give that's, me a, that's not impressive come uh, on come on let's get some barrel aged 11 percent. yeah see what you do with that see if you drink that all day so. come on come on i think you throw a shot of whiskey in it and then yeah. well it's definitely hazy Yo, yeah yeah i mean it's this definitely hazy definitely the yep. haziest can't it's very can't see through. Oh, there's even a little few particulates thrown in there. Yeah, I, I, I see that. A little particulate. Particulates. It smells like a hazy. I don't know how to describe that smell, but a hazy, but they all have that same smell. Uh, fruity, I guess. Just a like little, a mush. A little bit of, of a mashed up fruit. Just, it's all the fruits mushed together. Yeah. It's like one candle. They're like, we call this the super fruit. Yeah. 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 A little stringent on the finish. Dry again, though. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's going to be a commonality just uh, fermenting out those sugars. Because yeah, just in case people don't know, yeast eats sugar, farts out CO two, and shits out alcohol. How so, about that? Yeah. So if you want less residual sugar, you're going to get a drier beer. That means you, you ferment it all out. You know, so that's like that's a helpful tip too when you're buying wine. If you're buying yeah. wine that has a lot of residual sugar, it's going to be a sweeter wine versus a drier wine. So, same concept in beer, I guess. That's a little on the harsh side. There's like almost like a, a sweet note right in the middle, though. Yeah, but then the finish is... It's like a tropical sweet note, and then it yeah, just dries right but out. It's, yeah, it's it's a quick one. That, that That's a very... Like, you have to really look for it. Yeah, it's well, it is there though. It's pr- it's present. You get that really tropical flavor, and then you feel like it's going to finish tropical, but just then it just dies out, yeah. and it's uh, yeah, it's it's completely dry on the end. Hmm, that is not what I was expecting. You know, I find that that's more often than not when uh, when you go in with completely pre- preconceived blind. notions about a beer. Yeah, yeah. Either by the can art or uh, the name or whatever. Uh, I had that last night. Oh. I tried a. Um, oh, what was it? It was a, it was it was supposed to be an English style beer, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, it did not taste <laughs> anything like an English style beer. Now, granted, it was made by Three Floyds, so I figured I'm assuming their, they their didn't take eat English hops, uh, and they used a lot of them. They use English hops or American hops. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, but when you go in with a preconceived notion, and then even though you think, well, it's made by Three Floyds, maybe they still just wanted to do an English beer. No, they wanted to do an English beer with a ton of hops. Yeah. So it's also like somebody's like, you always going to get one of those beers. Like we made an English style. I'm like, mm, what kind of hops did you use in this? Did you use American? Because right. like American, <clears throat> just the terroir at that point becomes so important. It's like America, United States, generally our soil just has a lot more fruit flavors. Even with wine, you go to Europe, it's just a lot earthier. You go to England, it's like the king of earthy. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and and it's delightful. I I love it. I love it. And if if you're into earthy flavors, that's that is the place to English be. English beers, French wines, Europe, and Scottish. Scottish whiskeys. Yeah. The, the three trifecta of earthy. Yep. That is the place to be. Yeah. That is my favorite place anywhere in Europe that's got all those earthy flavors. Those are those are right up my alley. Should we get crazy and throw one extra in? Why not? We've got a couple extra minutes. Good behavior from Odell? Sure. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever done that. Although Odell always has those... Uh, Arguably 
one of the best IPA the, breweries in the country. And and the can art all kind of has that same vibe to it. You got a, so you got Lady Justice here. Yeah, and the good behavior. I don't think they all have Lady Justice on it, but um. So this one. Well, yeah. yeah, we'll give you a little look at look at the can there. Uh, 110 calories. Yeah, we're kind of just. It seems like that hundred mark is kind of the sweet spot, so to speak, yeah. that we will ferment out. But the functional white ale is 86. I'm not gonna idea. So far, far, th- far less. I think that was the winner. I'd say so far that's my favorite of this yeah, bunch. If like absolutely. I was gonna take a bunch of the cabins, gonna be that white point. That that one caught me off guard and how good it was. Yeah. I get nothing on the nose. No, I think anything that I smell is just from the leftover other beers. Yeah, that's a. Wow. It's yeah. almost tasteless. Yeah, I'm going to say there's like not much, almost nothing. I would, I would describe this uh, as having the flavor that you get out of a, a seltzer water. Yeah. Uh, it's like you a, know, you get that just just that little hint of like whatever, a, whatever like it is. seltzer water. Yeah. Because there is definitely a just a kiss of hops in there. If I can use such a term. But not a lot. Not a lot. And there's just a kiss of whatever that fruity flavor is. Mango or... Yeah, that's definitely a little like a little touch of mango. Yeah. But not much. She and is it, dry. It, it lives and dies very quickly. <laughs> and she otherwise <laughs> dry. And it is dry. <laughs> you'll be in the lake with this one. And, uh, I would and, s- and then you'll go... Man, I kind of feel like drinking some lake water right now. But don't do that. Not around here anyway. Lake water is terrible. I would say that this is almost a good IPA to get someone into IPAs. Yeah. Because you're like, I don't know if I like a bunch of flavors. You're like, well, this one is very minimal flavored. Yeah, and I guess if you're not. It's like a training wheels of IPAs. There you go. Yeah. If you really want to get into IPAs, I have no desire to. Oh, uh, Landon. Slippery slip. I'd I mean, if there's a if if you haven't gotten the snared by IPAs yet, I don't think it's going to happen. I always make the joke that everyone's just one good IPA away from being into IPAs, but I would say you might be the exception to that rule because at this point, you've probably had just as many as anyone else. I and, try a lot of them. I still I still try a lot of them, and that's and that's part of doing what we're doing. You know, a lot of people go, "Oh, I bet you don't drink IPA, and you don't." You know what? I do. Yeah, I drink it. I. I uh, well, I even you, tried one last night. You still have um, the ability to to discern a good IPA from a bad IPA. Well, and I think part of what we do in educating and informing people is you have to be pretty well rounded to do it. So precisely, um, yeah. I don't. Know. I'm gonna go back to that light point. That light point. I is think. Spot I on. think that light point's the winner. Man. Yeah, New Holland. New yeah. Holland. Yeah. Pair that with your dragon's milk. It's kind of a good. Go, yeah, go there you go. 11% dragon's milk and then bounce over to the... Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for the uh, the locale beer week. Uh, who knows what we'll have the next time around. Um, we are shooting this before the 4th. But... We are shooting this before the 4th. But hopefully you had a great 4th of July. Uh, a safe one. Put some mac and cheese fires. on a hot dog. That's what I do. There you go. Yeah. So uh, check us out on all the social medias. We've got podcasts. We've got all kinds of stuff coming up. Um, Midwestern-centric beer talk. Yeah. For for people who in the Midwest want to go places and learn a bit more about the places they want to travel to, we have a wealth of resources. Landon's been diligent at making the podcast. We have quite a few of those episodes out. We went back to Sprecher, so uh, check that out when it's available. It should be soon. So. Um, the episodes yeah. aren't going anywhere otherwise. They're still on the YouTubes for still, free. Still on the YouTubes for free. Absolutely. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done Yeah, that's so. the least people can do. Yeah. And then let us know uh, what you drank for the fourth. Yeah. So, till then, the next time around, we'll see ya. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>